Fashion, The Hollywood Horror, Lexi Gomez, your pride of wrestling, women's champion. What you did last show was the most coward, slimiest, fraud of an act of a women's champion this company has ever had to represent them. I went through hell last show to retain my championship against La Brava. This wasn't an open invitation for you. In fact, this is your final cut. Exit stage left and keep on moving. You think you have what it takes to keep that championship on your shoulder? You call yourself the star of the show, but all I see is a washed up B-roll version of a women's champion. And when I take that belt out of your hands, back where it belongs, on February 10th, I promise you, Lexi, there will be no sequel. This is the final curtain call for you. I'm gonna show you exactly what it's like to have a real Hollywood ending. What make a tune that is mine on my feet? We don't speak, but we know what we say. me from the bag after I went through a table that checked me. Why did you take my championship away? Spoiler alert. The Hollywood Horror knows that she will do whatever it takes to be the most dominating and frightening champion Pride of Wrestling has ever seen. And that's nothing personal, Allie. No. Whatever the outcome would have been, whoever would have been the winner at Checkmate. They would have had Target on their back. I would have taken anybody out, but it does put a smile on my face knowing that you and your little fantasy of being a hero has been put to an end. Knowing that you're probably losing your sweet, precious little sleep while I'm creeping and haunting into your nightmares, reminding you that I'm the one who took everything away from you. And at my way or the highway, the feeling is not going to be much different. I am going to remind every single one of those sad, pathetic little Pride of Wrestling fans why I am the star of the show. And remind everyone that you couldn't do and you didn't have what it takes to keep this championship. <laughs> You're just gonna have to get ready to pry this belt off of my cold, dead hands because I will be taking this to the grave. <laughs> before us and one of the more prestigious, one of the most prestigious championships here in Pride of Wrestling, the Pride of Wrestling Women's Champion. Right there, Lexi Gomez, who earned her, who earned that title fair and square. I can relate, I cashed in that contract. I seized an opportunity. That's what Lexi did on Ali Rex. Ali Rex has to understand it's, it's nothing personal, it's just business. Absolutely, I mean, when it comes to seizing an opportunity like that, you have to do it 
with a guarantee that you're going to become the champion. I mean, it's only the smart thing to do. Just as you said, you have to do what's best for business. And when you're doing what's best for business in this business, it's usually what's best for yourself. And when Lexi Gomez capitalized and took that championship away, I mean, come on. That's just making the best, the best, smartest move she could. Absolutely. Once you're a champ, you got to be ready at all times because you never know. Ali Rex, poor championship decision, putting her guard down for Lexi to capitalize right now. These two, now Ali Rex finally gets her hands on Lexi. Let's see what happens as these two lock horns. I mean, we have seen some absolutely gruesome, hard fought battles over this St. POW Women's Championship. We've seen Ali Rex, we've seen La Brava Escobar, we've seen Lexi Gomez all compete against each other in different times in some grueling matchups, and this is set to be another one. Surely with title implications on the line, both of these women will be bringing everything they've got here today. Body, I guess the crucifix goes for the pin, but not able to secure his Rex. Rex trying to go for Come another on. pin here, going for the arm bar. Come on, respect oh, well, we got that. The feet you, on the ropes. You gotta respect the break. You gotta break the hole. You gotta respect the ropes. What are rules for if you're not gonna respect them? Like Ali I was Rex. saying, excuse me to cut you off, Soto. You're but good. the most prestigious championship, that match was defended even in a ladder match, the first ladder yes. match here in Pride of Wrestling. Correct. I mean, when you talk about a championship with, a, with history, with blood that's been spilled, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, people talk about that as a metaphor. But when you talk about the Pride of Wrestling Women's Championship, and you take that, that initiative seriously, because that. It's it's things strength. like that, just, I mean, an intense buckle bomb there from your current champion, Lexi Gomez, showing why she's got holding that championship in the first place. Look at that. Huge hip attack. Full Again. head of steam, freight train right into that corner, and that strength being on display right now. And Rex is not in a good Gomez. position. I mean, Rex is a former champion in her own right, as we mentioned before. She knows what it takes to hold that gold, and she knows... You know, that 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 difference in, in when you're actually competing in a matchup just for your bragging rights versus when you're competing for gold. Lexi going for the pin here, not able to secure, but it's a different when you're going out here to just compete for bragging rights, when you're just trying to compete to win a matchup. But when the championship is on the line, the opportunity to be the head of the division, the number one person in the company, I mean, it brings out a different side of you, a different beast. We've seen people go past limits that we thought they had. They just broke those limits, reached to new ceilings, bring out new versions of themselves. I'm going to tell you right now, Lexi Gomez is a champ for a reason. When I say she studies tape, I'm not talking about Hackenschmidt. I'm not talking about Ric Flair. No. I'm talking about horror movies. She's, she's the horror movie icon. She studies slasher movies. She thinks of ways, she studies new ways to brutalize her opponents. No matter who's in that ring, she has a way to break you in half. You just seen in the corner, she was trying to rip the arms out the socket of Ali Rex. And that comes with a lot of experience. We've seen Lexi Gomez compete a lot around the Florida scene. And Rex turning this around on Gomez Getting some shots in of her own, but Gomez with a beautiful standing switch again, driving that shoulder into the gut of Ali Rex. This woman is dangerous, okay? She's a walking horror flick. Like I said, she's gonna brutalize her opponent in any which way she can. She finds pleasure in dismantling anybody who steps foot in the ring against her. And Lexi Gomez trying to keep Rex right where she is, but Rex doing her best to feed off the energy from the crowd, but I mean, the champion has a firm hold. Look at but that. She's uh, suffocating the life out of her, draining the oxygen from Ali Rex. Look at that. Rex fighting. doing her best to fight off, but the champion just too much. Just using that experience. I mean, between these two, this I don't even know how many years of experience there are between these two, but I know the number's up there. Ali Rex definitely has the more experience but Lexi Gomez, I have to say, has the edge. She has the attitude. She has the it factor, the grit. Absolutely. That she's going to break all her opponents in half with. And so far in this contest, it seems like Lexi Gomez has been firmly in the driver's seat, but Ali Rex giving her a run for the money. A trade-off right here, back and forth. Two championship caliber opponents. Discus for oh, both and ladies down. Both of them connecting seemingly on that one. Both of them down. There goes our official here, Julie. 
We're gonna see who's gonna be able to answer the ref's count. We might see this end in a double count on a double draw. Both these ladies don't get to their feet now. Ali Rex clutching onto the jaw after that brutal forearm strike from Lexi Gomez. The people here are St. Pete Prada wrestling, rallying the people. It's my way of a highway, and we're on the road to Prideversary. Who is gonna walk into Prideversary as the POW Women's Champion? And seemingly right now, Ali Rex. Look is at the gonna... flexibility. So I think I seen you do that once. <laughs> Amazing. And a 619, Ali Rex dialing it up. Calling her shot right now to the top right back to the crown jewel that is the POW Women's Championship. Oh, oh a huge big cross flash. body. This could be it. Rex not able to secure the victory there. The champion able to get her shoulder up. Only a two count. The championship resilience. She's fighting so valiantly. And I mean, just as we mentioned before, when the championship is on the line, there's more there's more of an aggression. There's, there's more of a sense of urgency in everything you do. There can't be any wasted movements, any wasted moments. Absolutely. And Rex. Look at oh. the strength. The strength of Lexi Gomez into play. Oh, oh my huge goodness. black hole slam. Spinning Uranagi, planting Ali Rex down into the mat. What? What? Only a two. I can't believe Ali Rex is still in this one right now. I mean, the amount of damage she's taken in this matchup so far is unbelievable. But just as we mentioned before, Ali Rex has been in some tough fights, just like we were talking about earlier. And I mean, if, if memory serves correctly, she was one of the contestants in that ladder match that we were talking about for uh, the Pride of Wrestling Women's Championship. So I, don't I mean, think so. Oh, and you're trying to break that grip with looking Persia for the arm But Ali Rex with the arm bar. Will we see a submission victory here tonight? Oh my goodness. Close call, I'm at the edge of my seat right now. A championship match indeed. This is the kind of contest you can only find in the premier wrestling promotion in the state of Florida. Proud of wrestling right now. Women's championship on the line. Look at that. Oh, oh my a huge goodness. Knee. Huge clothesline takes Ali Rex right off her feet. The champion. This is it, this is it Sono. Oh. What? Ali Rex kicked out I of that one. I can't believe this. This has been an amazing contest so far. Somehow Ali Rex just has a little bit more left in the tank. She's not gonna let this opportunity just slip by like this. Lexi Gomez not letting the people chanting Ali Rex get to her head. She's thinking of ways to end Ali Rex's career, but she's clutching onto that top rope. Oh. Decapitation, slicing the head right off, breaking that clutch. And now, wait a minute, Ali Rex go behind into a knee. Into oh, a and a huge DDT plants the champion. Oh my goodness, wait not a minute. Going for the cover She's here. not going for the cover. What she, she you saw her look at the POW Women's Championship. You saw that, right? What she got in mind. What's Ali Rex thinking of here? I think she's digging in deep right now, but she's making the wise move because if if she gets a DQ tonight, she won't get the victory and she won't get the championship. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. What's Who's going that? on here? That's La What's La Brava? Wait La Brava a minute. Escobar planting Ali Rex. What are we just witnessing? No way. What it, is La Brava doing? Controversial Inc. just has their hands in everything. La Brava, Escobar making their presence known. Not only are they putting the tag team division on notice, but La Brava, Escobar is putting the women's division on notice. Look at Lexi Gomez right now. The confusion in her eyes right now. The confusion in her face. She's wondering why did La Brava just do that? A DQ victory for Ali Rex, but unfortunately for Ali Rex, she doesn't go home with the Pride of Wrestling Women's Championship tonight. This has got to be a message directly to Ali Rex because Escobar did not attack our champion. She went directly for the contender, Ali Rex. This Wait has got to be, or hang Wait on here, La Brava handing the title directly to the champion. Still the women's champion. Well, hard fought fight and the champ retained. 
so effortlessly. I got to give it to Lexi Gomez. She, she's she's already on the road to Pride Adversary, undefeated. Well, does a DQ does a DQ loss count? I don't believe it's gonna. Well, wait count. a minute. Look at oh. that. She's extending her hand out. Looks wait like a minute. A show what respect partnership here. are we seeing here? Interesting. Oh, oh, oh wait oh. a minute. My the way or the highway? Whose way is it gonna be? The road to Pride Adversary is cooking up now. Are we gonna see Brava go one on one with Lexi Gomez for the women's championship? We're gonna have to wait. Oh, wait a minute. we're not gonna oh. have to wait until Pride Adversary to find out. La Brava drops the champion, Lexi Gomez. Calling her shot, looking to get championship gold back around her waist. What an impressive contest. Pride of Wrestling cooking up. The road of Pride Adversary continues.